like to be one of the first girls on the first first team for the Denny's golf team. Um, it's really exciting. Coach Port asked me to be on his team, and I was thinking about it, and I didn't realize how bad he wanted me until he called me one day, and then he called me the next, and then he called me the next, so it was pretty exciting. I chose UCM because, first of all, they have, he offered um, a great, like, deal of instruction for golf, and they also had the graphic design program that I wanted, and I had not found another um, college or university that had offered that. So it all worked out really well, and I love you seeing I visited, and just it called my name. It was awesome. This year, I feel that we've done really great. We got our feet wet. We had to we had to work really hard to make sure that we were up with all the other teams. So, and it wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. But now that we've gotten our feet wet, we have the winter to work on it, and then the next season. I think we can do a lot better. We know what to work on. Coach got to know each one of us so he knows what to work on us with. My relationship with Coach is awesome. He's really funny. He, he knows us well enough that he can work with us in different ways. So most people, you have to get to know them before you can work with them so they know what your swing's like, what your personality's like, if you can take harsh criticism or how he needs to teach you because everyone is taught different and you take things differently from each person. I was really excited to meet all the girls on the team. When we finally got to know each other, we kind of became a family. It was really awesome because we get along really well and we have a lot of fun on golf trips and just here at practice. And I live with two other golf girls and it helps us become more of a family, which helps the team. The more you know someone, the better you can help them succeed as a team. It is definitely a building year. Um, we plan on, we just pick a team that we're close to and you work towards succeeding to beat that team and then you can just work your way up the more you go and work on little things such as um, subtracting strokes here and there in each person and you just work at it slowly and you just, when you work your way up there it's not as bad as you think. I don't consider myself superstitious but I find myself doing superstitious things like I used this glove last tournament, I have to use this glove or, hey, I didn't lose this ball, I'm gonna use this ball next tournament, or the same tee. Um, we like to eat a lot, so we're like, oh, we gotta have this food while we're playing. And, but it's really, it really doesn't matter, but it's fun to just do little things like that, just kind of a tradition. I look up to my dad, he introduced me to golf. He said, well, if you play a sport in high school, just try it out, if you don't like it, you don't have to play it. I tried golf. I didn't really care for it that much until maybe my sophomore year and I seen myself starting to succeed and it made me want to play more. So I played more golf and realized that it's really fun to do good so <laughs> it made me want to practice more and I also really appreciate all the friends that I have back home that play golf that most of them are guys that's, that's a higher level so they push me to play better. and. Um, my sisters, they play golf and they're right behind me. They are probably shooting just as good as I am right now and it pushes me to go because if they catch up with me, you know, catch up with big sis, so. On a typical practice day, we usually hit on the range. We work a lot on our short game. That's very important. That can make or break your game. Um, some days we'll go out and play. Some days it'll just be practice day. Um, we do a lot of short game and working on your mental capacity and because if you don't have that it's just it will make or break you and just staying relaxed.